I'm here. I just pushed the wrong button. Hello, everybody. Good morning or good afternoon. It's like two o'clock here. I'm in lazy mode. Can you tell? Don't worry. Peggy's coming. She's just getting herself together. We're having a, a really relaxed Sunday, which has been beautimous. But yes, how is everybody doing? Let me go through the comments and say hi to people. Hello, hello, Jamie, free spirit. Hello, Barb. Hi, Bohemian Girl Chanda. Oh my God, there's so many of you here. Okay, well, hello, everybody. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. How are we all doing? <sighs> I feel like we haven't just sat down and just like had a casual chat for like what feels like forever. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Fairlight Tarot. Hello, Gail. I love this color. This is a color called Avatar. It's literally inspired by the movie, and I'm a nerd. So there you go. Hi, Corey. Hi, Holly. And everybody, I'm sure I've missed a bunch of you. I'm so sorry. I am sipping on my second coffee of the day. Peggy and I are going to be recording some podcast episodes after this. So I like am all set up for that. I have been playing um, Stardew Valley on my tablet, which has been really fun. But I keep resetting the first Easter egg hunt day so that I can win. Because screw Abigail, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, she's coming, Dawn. She's just getting herself together. We had daylight savings last night, so we're all discombobulated. And it's funny because I was over here, like, just chilling and playing games. And then, like, I look at the clock and I'm like, oh, shoot, our, our chat starts in half an hour. I was, like, an hour off because my watch, for some reason, didn't reset. Um, oh, you play Effervescent Essays? I've just started. So, <laughs> Stardew and Hermate, yes, Stardew, who, or, yes, Stardew, who are you trying to romance? I'm, I'm, like, on day 13 of my first spring, so I've just started playing but the thing is, I had this on my Switch. I don't, do any of you play on, what do you play on? Because on the Switch, maybe it's just me being like old or whatever. <laughs> but like the screen is too small, but like I was, I opened it up on my tablet and you know what's awesome? Hold on, let me see if I can show you without, I think I just had failed the egg hunt again. So I'm going to restart my day anyways. Oh, I can't show you because I'm like not in it. But on my tablet screen, it's like big and you can like click on things. Okay. So, Starry and Hermit, if you play on the Switch, I'm curious, do you play on the handheld or just on, like, your TV? Because I never play anything on my TV. Like, every once in a while I do. It's nice, but... Oh, you cast it on your TV. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, you're a bit obsessed. I could not... I did not understand the hype at all. And I'm like, wait, this is, like, a cozy game, farming sim, RPG? Like, is that... How do you describe this game? I was surprised. I was like, it's like open world, but there's quests. It's like, this was what Dreamlight Valley was. It's like what I like about Dreamlight Valley, but better because Dreamlight Valley got boring for me. Um, oh, Heather Stanley just brought up Disney Dreamlight Valley. So you know how Disney Dreamlight Valley is like there's story and there's quest. And then there's also like farming and life sim stuff. It's like, it's exactly like that. There's like only there's some combat. I haven't done it yet, but I've gone down into the mines and like broke some rocks and then I ran away because I didn't know what I was doing. But um, yeah, we're talking video games now. I love, I love it. I'm here for it. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Stephanie. So yeah, if you liked Disney Dreamlight Valley, I feel like the, the, the I don't want to call it a learning curve. The thing that I needed to get used to was the graphics. But now that I'm used to the graphics, they're so freaking cute, but it took me a minute because I'm like, I'm old enough that that's what video games literally used to look like. Oh, thank you guys. Makeup compliments. I'm here for it. <laughs> my bum. Oh, we got a bum. Oh, I'm look, here. It, your bum didn't show up on camera, but I got to appreciate it. Did you want to do it again? No. Oh, okay. Too lazy to get. <laughs> I'm too lazy to get up and get back down again. There. Hi. Hi. How are you? We're talking about Stardew Valley and Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I just down. I just downloaded. I told um, Peggy to download it. I downloaded it. I haven't opened it yet because I have a feeling if I do that, I'm going to get sucked in for a very it's long so time. It's so stinking cute. And you get a dog? Well, you get you pick your well, pet, I guess, Bruno, in the beginning. Well, buddy. How's my puppy? But you get a pet, which is awesome. Bruno's, already, Bruno's already over for a visit. He's he's a little he's a little, out, he's a little out, of con, not out of control. He's out a little source. beside himself today because it's allergy season for me. I've been sneezing all morning. Yep. Every time I sneeze, he gets a treat because somebody trained him to beg for a treat. Technically, it was me and one of your children. That did that. I think it was both of the children. It might have been that. both of the children. Anyway. But anyway. Anyway. But it's real cute. Like, sneeze some more. He howls more. and he gets a treat. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. Michelle says, so I ordered the invisible tarot, but when I got the delivery notification, I couldn't find it in my mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible about that deck, y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
no, we don't call ourselves old anymore. We don't. Why not? <laughs> I love calling I myself old. Hair. I don't, I, I like calling myself old. I don't know what that says about me, but I'm really excited about my gray hair coming in. What does mm. that mean? What does that say about me? I don't know. Something. I'm really something. excited to see if I'll finally grow up. That. Why now would, that I'm old? That's no, no. That's why would you? Happen. You're you're held now. Fifty eight. I'll be fifty nine in December. Yeah, next so month. If you haven't done it by now, like it's not going to happen. Fifty nine in a little over a month. I know. It's not wild. Fifty nine. I'm not even in my fifties yet. You're Had getting your... there though. <laughs> Look at you. You're getting there though. She says. I'm oh so helpful God. that way. Oh my God. I got a can to sit down. I got a. Do you want me to hold it for you? Apparently, because I've got a dog over here who would probably rather be in my life. All right, it can live over Hi, here. Hi, everybody. Hi. So, over here. I would love to hear from y'all. Do you want us to do hot takes live again this month? Or do you want me to do it recorded? He's doing his thing. He's. Hi. I'm not <laughs> supposed to be paying attention to her, only him. He's like, you're. Only Bruno. You're, Look paying, at this. you're paying attention. Yeah, okay, here we go. Watch this. Oh, he's looking at the screen though. Uh, he's, he's distracted. He's, here he goes. Here he goes. There he goes. goes. He's like, he goes. stop it. Yeah. No, no, me. Only me. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> he is such a jealous little shit. Uh oh, we get yes. Hi. I would love to also hear about the live hot takes. If anybody, I don't know if it's obnoxious to watch back. Is it okay to watch back? Like, I don't like it. It it let me know. <laughs> um, Hi. if you watched it back and it was still palatable, like handleable. Barb's like, I want hot takes to be extra, extra tipsy. tipsy. We both drank last time. That was well, hilarious. Well, after that one deck, it was like, oh, I <laughs> need it. I need a drink. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'd have to watch our replay. That was fun. I, yeah, I'd love to hear from dude, somebody who watched it back to see if it was okay. You. I can't do both. If it was okay to watch back. Because I kind of want to do it live again. <laughs> there, what you doing? Um, yep. It's one of my favorite lives. Oh, thank you. Yay. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like it. It's fun to do it that way. Um, okay. And it takes it takes a little bit of workload off my plate because then I don't have to edit it, which is always yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah. Videos that don't have to be edited are amazing. It takes pressure off, and I have so much on my plate right now that it's a little bit nuts. So, yeah. Um, Bruno yeah, is the cutest. That. Yeah, but then watch. Look at him. He's like, no. Look at He's like, you have to. Now I have to pet him, too. He's not quite sure, though, because the camera's on. Yeah. So he's thinking. He's thinking about. Okay. Okay. She came over and sat oh, beside you, me the Holly. one day. And we and we kissed. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. We too, were necking. Not, yeah, but nothing too graphic. And he couldn't cope. He climbed up behind so me. I he climbed like, up what? behind me on the back of the couch and got right here with his ass on the couch, leaning forward, getting his nose between us. Like, no, no, yeah. just no. Yeah. Yeah. He could not cope. You know what we were doing last night? We were cuddled up. We were cuddled up looking up images on <laughs> on Google because we're trying to plan Peggy's next tattoo. Tell them what you want to do. Because it totally gave me an awe I want, moment. It was I your want, idea. I want I'm 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 thinking sleeve, but I would do just just, just the tattoo without the extra. A, a a dragon with you know protecting a unicorn under protecting its wings. Protecting a unicorn. I was like, She loves are you me twice me? as much now. It bought you so many wifey brownie points. You just don't oh my even god, know. all the brownie points. So we were all looking up all points. kinds of different images yeah. of like dragons and unicorns together. So to she's see, got a bunch to of... get some like inspiration. I am, um, I am approving the design loosely, and then she gets to go to town on it. Thank you. It's a dragon. I actually got this not long, long ago, but it's a dragon with a heart in the center. It's got an amethyst, and on the back it says "Dragon Strong." It's actually from the Witch's Moon Moon Market. Um. Oh, what did you do for Halloween? We didn't do anything. We just did, stayed Did we do anything? I thought we We're, did something. What did we do? We didn't do it. Oh, well, we we didn't we didn't do anything specific for Halloween. We're in a condo. Oh, I got blood drawn on Halloween. She got a blood drop. <laughs> my one my one coworker's like, you're getting blood drawn on Halloween. Is that bad yeah. luck or something? Yeah. I'm like, it's fine. No, we we live in a condo on a quiet street, so they don't even give out candy at the front of the building because we have like three, four, five, six, seven buildings and no houses. Hi, Matcha Shadow Step. Hi, Marlena. Yeah. Could Francesca help with an image so it would be mystic? We would, a lot of tattoo artists won't like directly copy another artist's work, but at least the ones around here, I don't know, we could find out, but mystic, well, mystic will definitely be inspiring. If you've inspiring. literally purchased the art. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. We could probably ask Francesca to sketch us something, hun. Well, That'd be awesome. Can you imagine? Can sort that out. Because she does a ton of really cool dragons too. No, she does. Her dragon. Have you seen her dragons? Mm -hmm. 
Francesca does amazing things. Her art is beautiful. It's I funny. Like it. I manhandled this little goober. And he just doesn't care. He's like, okay, you kissed he's, me. It's he's fine. like, yes, please manhandle me. He doesn't seem to understand kisses, but he like appreciates the gesture. He you know? appreciates the attention of getting a kiss, but he has yeah. no fucking idea what I'm doing to him. Yeah. It's like, this is really weird, but you love me, so it's fine. But no, I don't think we did anything. I literally, oh, that's what it is. We try to stay in because the there's fireworks up here. It's a Why weird... do you have to remember that? Yeah, we have fireworks a... and the dogs, and, and Shayla especially gets really freaked no, out. No, Bruno so. gets more freaked out than Shayla does. He just wants hugs. She just finds a corner and starts shaking. Well, she goes, <laughs> yeah, but she, he's so assertive about it. He's like, I heard a noise. Come for me. Come for me. Yeah. Um, Hello, Sophie. Sophie just died. Anyone know if there's a way to catch up with the video? Oh, yeah. Just um, go out and come <laughs> back in or just hit refresh. Oh, you know what I do, actually? Um, I put the I go down to the gear. And I put the video on double speed and it'll catch it up, catch itself up. Um, and then it'll go back to normal speed when you get caught up to the current time. Jamie says, I have a new rescue and he doesn't understand kisses at all, but he tolerates them. Yeah. Well, yeah. usually, usually when I'm kissing him, I'm also petting him and hugging him. So it's like, oh, well, that's just the, that's just the price I pay for getting a full body cuddle. Yeah. Oh, um, Marlena mm -hmm. asks, did you end up backing that dragon deck from the last hot takes? I don't think I backed mm -hmm. the dragon deck. I backed, what was the one from the last hot takes? I backed the moon, moon, the faces in forests. You backed one of them. And I backed the one that Lisa was. Lisa is on double speed. I'm always on double <laughs> That's speed. That's just how we talk. Like, oh, oh, you're Lisa on double speed because I suggested oh, using double speed. Oh, yeah. To get you, sound like a, you sound like a chipmunk on double speed. Oh, my God. My mom doesn't like up. Halloween. And it was really funny to see her put on her Christmas, put up her Christmas decorations on Halloween. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't blame her. Not everybody likes Halloween. Halloween's the best. What are you kidding well, me? Well, I like Halloween. It's my favorite holiday, but not everybody likes it. Hi. What are you doing? Just relax. I relax, relax, love Halloween. I did. Let me love you. Let me love you. But look at him not running away. I did kick off a new contract with Francesca right on Halloween. That was exciting. So we'll be starting on the Unicorn's Journey Oracle deck, which is very, 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 very exciting. Mm. Jamie says he doesn't leave when I when I start the kissing, so I figure he's still appreciating the attention, the love. Yeah, yep. <gasps> he's the same way. He has no idea what I'm doing when I kiss him, but he's like, okay. Oh my gosh, Sunny says I I ordered the nameless one after your deep dive. I can't wait to get it. Oh, what oh, is wrong with Norman? Just yelled I at us. I fed you. You already ate today, Norman. You've got food right there. Eat your food. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Open and we're not there worried. we go we have the window open and we're not sitting where we're supposed to sit so he's mad because we changed the arrangement norman is one is our, our she named our crows norma and norman yeah norman's the boy norman's the girl i norman. guess that's obvious but yeah that's the case and they have a couple of kids who the hell is norman i'll show you when he comes back over but did you hear him yell at us we're sitting yeah, right next to the open balcony door and so he hopped onto the railing and he literally like rawr, right at us. He's mad at us because we, we got the window open so he oh, can Sophie, hear us. Oh, Sophie, where the hell have you been, by the way? I just realized I haven't seen you in a bit. Have I seen oh, you in a bit? It feels like it's been a bit. He might not come back. He grabbed it. He grabbed. He hey, had, he put some tortilla chips out. He had on some the... stale tortilla chips that I forgot to put away last night. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So basically, Norman and Norma have two youths that we know of for sure. We, two we're kids. pretty sure they're there. It's their, their... So we only see them on the balcony. So they must actually. Um, they must actually protect the balcony from other crows or something because we yeah. don't really see anybody else. It's just yeah. This we saw a crow. We saw yeah. We saw a crow here the one day and they were kind of scraping it a little bit. Yep. And it went away and it was like, oh, you guys are protecting your food source. How did you get the accrued bond, you guys, with the with the crows? Peggy just started putting food and water out for them on our balcony. Yes, yeah, yeah, Sophie. We haven't seen you in a while. I know. Hope you're okay. We're all good. Yeah. Well, he, well, yeah, wow, he sounded like a dog, says Kristen. Well, he caught at us, and we started talking to him, and then the dogs started barking. Yeah, the dogs so, were barking. But, yeah, we just basically, um, well, hello, Peggy, Sheila. Peggy and I just keep food out. And now they come to the balcony, and they, like, literally, they, they'll, they'll actually hop down onto the ground and peck at food that they've dropped. But they come in, and they'll, every morning, if there's not food on their table, they will start, like, I have a two pack of dogs over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's not food on their table, they'll literally start making direct eye contact. They'll turn their head and like look at you with just one eye and be like, "Hello." Yeah. Where's my food? Give me some food. Yeah. The way their eyes were, the way their the way their eyes are positioned, if they want to really stare at something, they have to turn and focus with just one eye. <gasps> oh, you know what we saw yesterday? Tell them the story. We were oh, we were just out, we were walking the dogs last night after dark, and I saw this motion out of the corner of my eye, and I happened to be looking at just the right thing. 
I saw a motion out of the corner of my eye and I went, oh, and saw an owl go boop and perch itself into the one tree. Yep. And we were across the street. And I thought it was so, it was I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ, your girl dog is like losing her fucking mind. The on dogs me. have decided, look at this. The dogs Shayla have decided has it's cuddle Shayla time. has decided she's going to get in here and cuddle me. But there's not quite enough room, so she's <laughs> kicking me. Yep. That's what's happening. But so anyways, we were Bruno's out. Bruno's very accommodating. He's just oh, one of our kitchen lights is in the process of dying. It just started flickering. Um. Anyway, we were across the street. Thing. Peggy saw the owl fly into the tree. So we crossed the street with the dogs. Can you just over the tiniest bit? Yeah. I we, cannot hold a pop and deal with this at the same okay. time. So we crossed the street with the dogs, and the owl stayed right where it was. He just stood there watching It us. was pouring down rain. Well, it Neither one of us pouring, wanted to move. It was raining. Oh, here's Norman back here. Hold on. I'll show you guys if I can show you past my... Uh, the crap, I'm the, trying to move slow so I don't make anybody the busy. Crap. There he there is. He is. He's a little pissed because we are too close to the window. Yeah, he's and, right there. He'll hop to, up on the railing. He doesn't care if we stand by the door. He doesn't like it when the door is open. Yeah. It's okay, Norman. Come on, buddy. Babe. That might... No, that is Norman. That's Norman. Yeah. I was going to say that might be Norma. Shayla, Norma, Norma, Norma fault, the girl crow, today. she's much more shy. Oh, my God. Do you know what they did this morning? I'll finish telling the owl story eventually. This morning, they were up on the railing, and Norma, like, bent her head. We used to have pet bird. And Norman started grooming her like on the on the railing. Yeah, it was the cutest, cozy. It's little. like a, okay, if a bird if a bird puts its head down like with its beak almost on the ground and take off their feathers. Yeah, it's because they want you to pet them or groom their feathers back, the back at the back of their neck. And it's a so, huge so trust exercise. So we've always suspected they were a. We've always suspected that they were um, a mated <laughs> pair. We're just kind of proving no, Shayla. No, no. Shush. No. Norman's back. Yeah, the dogs like to bark at the crows, but the crow literally, oh, no. he doesn't care. He okay. ignores them. Here he is. Here he is. So he's going to hop down. Bruno. Bruno, stop. Bruno, shush. Bruno. I know. Norman's like, can you, can you shut him up? Seriously. Bruno. Bruno won't jump. He won't come down. He won't come down while Bruno's down. barking. Lay down. Lay down. That's enough. Down. If we don't let no, Bruno bark no. a little bit, then he loses his mind in other yeah. ways later. He's he's nope. our special. Yeah, then. <laughs> Seriously, getting jealous. Anyway, she so is the, just cuddled. The right owl. Out. What happened with the owls? We crossed the street, and then the owl flew. We crossed the street to be on the same side as the owl, and he stayed there and just watched us for, for like a bit. five to ten minutes. And then he like flew down even closer to us to like park to park to perch on a uh, yeah. He fence. flew down from the tree onto a fence, and we were and just, just standing. There. And he we was were like checking us out. He's like fifteen feet away, maybe. And he just like the whole time. Yeah, just watching us. Peggy had to practically he, he drag never stopped, me away. He never stopped looking at us. He, he stared at us the whole time. Yep, he's on the Norman's. You got a couple. You got a. Oh, he's on the. Table. He's literally eating chips right right now. Yeah. yeah. Peggy sent her tea chips. We have to. We only put out a tiny amount of food at a time. We have to, and we watch to make sure they eat it all. We don't leave it all. We put out a variety so that we're not dealing with. Uh, we don't. So yeah, we don't. We want. We don't attract anything else to the area. Yeah, we so. can't. We can't. We cannot put out. We cannot put out stereotypical nuts and stuff like that because it attracts the squirrels. I'm going to see if I can find which the picture. Which we really don't want. Yeah. Okay. This is a terrible picture. No, you have a better one. You have I'm, a slightly I'm, better one. I'm grabbing one. it. I'm grabbing the better one. It's in here. Hold on. Oh. One of these is good. They're not the greatest pictures because it's like crappy in the dark. You don't want to You don't want to use a flash on an owl. Yeah. It's in the dark I think that was the one raining. I just got to zoom it in. Yeah. This is the one. That's the one. Yeah, so like this is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's the owl on the that's fence. That's him up there on the fence, right straight in. Like we were so close. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, we were only about like 10, 15 feet away. It's a really fuzzy picture, but it's really hard to tell. We couldn't tell what kind of crow he was, but that's what he, owl, oh, he, owl sorry. We think he's a barred owl. He's either a, we he's think very he's either pale a bar, though. We think he's either a barred owl or a spotted owl, but. I'm, barred owls are usually really brown and then they have that really white face. We're, we're looking at dark, in the dark, right? I know. Any opinions from owl experts? Any, any owl expert that goes, oh no, that is a whatever. If it's a spotted owl, they're endangered. The other, uh, the only other obvious owl that we saw, the only other uh, obvious owl that I looked up was a daytime hunter, not a, not a nighttime hunter. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. And we're like in the city, like we're, there's high rises all around us. Like we're not, like we've got a little gully out here, which is what you guys see when you see the trees. It's a really nice what little piece of- What did Peggy sell Lisa's soul to? <laughs> <laughs> For real, right? <laughs> oh no, Lisa saw, Lisa saw Norman hanging around. She just gave it away. Oh man, it was- over i literally ordered the pocket crow tarot because of these guys um and i traded it away before i'm like i don't have a connection to crows fast forward a couple of years 
Um, I want to hear. No, no, you're fine. I'm allowed to pet her. Sophie's response now, though, because Sophie told us how she was doing, and I told her this. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay. Um, it sits you super busy. Life has been sort of nuts. Okay, yeah. I thought. Oh, here we go. Doing better than I was. Thanks, Peggy. Glad you guys are okay. What did I miss? What yeah. new decks did I at least to get? What crows do? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's that's all I missed. Okay, good. Um, Sophie says there's a mythos tale that crows are the messengers from the other side. I can't remember yep. which region though. Uh, Norse, I thought it was. Stephanie McKay says, love that. My husband and I oh, saw hawk. ravens are oh, messages yeah. of the underworld. My husband and I saw a hawk a bit above eye level and eight feet away, and he was staring at us. That's so cool. Oh yeah. Well, when I first out of the when I first glanced at him, I thought he was a hawk, and it's like, oh, I guess that hawk has just whatever got disrupted, and now what? he's looking for some place to hang out, right? What? What? But yeah, what decks did I buy? Who knows? Yeah, more that's than it. I can report right now without getting in trouble with Peggy. I gotta admit, we'll I kind of live. Later. I kind of live for that look. Like it's one of my favorite looks. Oh yeah, she lives for that look as long as she doesn't have to look directly at it. Look at her. She's like, I'll just look oh, ahead. Four day migraine is garbage. I'm sorry. Crows are oh, supposed to. Oh, ooh, a four day migraine. That would. Oh my god, I would not be happy. No. Bruno, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Peggy is now lay down, lay down, covered lay down, in lay, dog lay, fur. Lay, 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 lay. Are you? You're gonna have to change your shirt when we record the podcast because you're like. Oh furry yeah. Now. I should. I. I should probably go. I should probably go change my shirt now. He is getting jealous because Shayla's. Shayla's decided to let. Oh my gosh. Eric Man says, I live in the city center. Candy Stolen Solo says, Hey, just pooping in while I can, but getting kids to bed. But I will. Well, I think you meant popping in, so but too. now that you said pooping, I'm probably going to tease Peggy's you. Peggy's happy about it. Just so you know. <laughs> Eric Nunn says, I live in the city center and get birds, squirrels, rabbits, and even raccoons yeah. in my garden. Amazing. Yeah, we get the usual too, but then sometimes we get, you know, what's our, what, what and, podcast topics are we recording today? I have no idea. We haven't decided yet. Oh, we should ask the crew. We should ask you You guys. We'll get votes. Hold on. What, what are our we'll options? Let's see. Oh, what kind of a po what podcast topic should we cover on the podcast? That's not going up to like, it, we we are pre-record. Today is pre-recording, so it will well, be yeah. on the podcast for probably two weeks. Yeah, but we can still get opinion. Oh, that's opinions. true. We can always get opinions. Uh, is it under uh, this Will you one? lay down and go see? Is this the podcast notes one now? Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Uh, let's see. Uh prenups are we actually going to talk oh prenups? no 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 look, oh, no. look oh, up wait, scroll wait. up scroll up oh. things that used to be unheard of but are now normal in relationships oh that's right yeah you wanted to talk about all these different things that people used to okay gotcha yeah so um age gap relationships i want to do that one i think it'd be fun to talk yeah, about it'd be fun age gaps um dna tests oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that'd be fun um oh I don't have a ton. Well, Peggy's the one who gets to decide. Uh, really enjoyed the extrovert introvert one. I was talking about that with anyone who listened to me. <laughs> it's interesting because there's all the different things that you try to navigate, right? Like in well, people try to treat like a contest. They go, "I'm an extrovert. You need to do this, 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 this," or, or "I'm an introvert. Introvert. You need to do this, 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 this." It's like, hey. We're in a relationship. How about we sort out what look works? How short you look. About, I'm, I'm, slouch, know, I'm slouching and covered in dog. You look like a little mini butch. Yeah, that's the TLDR <laughs> of our uh, introvert extrovert conversation. Yeah, Corey says I've been married to my age gap partner for 18 years. He's 13 years older than me. We've been married 17 years. 17 years and 12 and years. 12 I'm and a half. I'm 12 and a half years older. Yeah, we're 12 and a half apart. Yeah, Jamie Kelly, nine and a half years older than. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, see that. Oh, Sophie, the podcast is called Lisa and Peggy Unleashed, and you can find the link to it right on. You know, if you go to my channel and you scroll can down. You not, oh, yeah, I guess I can, can do that. You have, <laughs> you're, I'm sitting here on a computer that I can go I get can the link and share it with you, but I'm not going to do that. Shh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and you're the only one who, you're, well. Here's a link to the podcast. You're like one of only two people that can do a uh, link. Oh, yeah, good point. But yeah. here, go look it up. Yep. Marlena says, I'm an introvert who happens to be really good with people. I'm a mistaken extrovert. So people yeah. don't think I'm shy because of YouTube. And I'm like, yeah. no, you don't know. The first year, <laughs> the first year I went to the Northwest Terrace Symposium and somebody was like, oh my God, I've seen you on YouTube. I was like, you have? Oh my God, you're a real person. Like, it was like really scary. I was just like, wait, wait okay. real people watch my, watch my channel? What the hell? Um, yeah, age gaps would be interesting. I'm I was eight years, years older. older. I've been married for 37 years. We the funny, the funny, thing, for the the funny thing is, is that age gaps of 10 plus years were super common. Oh, yeah. And now it's, like, now it's like, you know, if they're more than two years older, I won't date them. It's like, that's, that's, I think that's, okay, I, 
If you'd have known my we, age, of, if I had known my, or if you'd have been thinking too closely about my age up front, well, we got close before okay, we with got no close, intention to date. We so. got yeah, we got close with no intention of of getting into any form of romantic relationship. Yep. <laughs> if but if we if I had been meeting you with romantic know. intentions and knew your age up front, I would have quietly moved on because twelve and a half years is a lot. Yeah, everybody has their own internal limit. Yeah. So that, but we, if you fall in love first, it's like too bad, so sad. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> like you're stuck yeah. with me now. <laughs> okay. Um, I the battery go meter convo was the best. Description. I've already been sneezing oh, all yeah. day. So the battery meter. Oh yeah. We were talking about introvert extrovert battery meters. Yeah. And like how you I've got to go change my shirt because he is literally shedding all over me. Are you going to change your shirt and then continue I've to already, do this? No, I'm going to have to try my best to <laughs> Okay, because I was going to say otherwise. Okay, okay. If I start yawning. Whenever I get too much dog fur, I start yawning, and I've been sneezing a lot the last few days. So this is just the risk we're all taking if I keep making my dog happy. Sophie says, my bestie is married to my to his now husband, and they met when he was 20 and his partner was 32. Yep. It was a huge stir up with the family, but they're so happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thing is, is that there's certain yep. age gaps. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. It, de it just depends. If, you're, if you are yeah. compatible, the age won't matter. If you're not compatible, the age will matter. So apparently we're going to have it now and then we're going to have the conversation now so that you guys don't need to watch our podcast. No, we'll still have plenty to say. Have you ever had us not have plenty to say? Well, the podcast is for non-tarot topics. So, yeah, but so we I, have non-tarot topics on shenanigans too. So yeah, we talked about a bit of an, of There's a bit of an overlap and that's all fine. Yeah. All right. All good. Okay. At the very least, I'm going to put away that. Good luck. Oh well, yeah. You got to yeah, show that. I, well, I got to, no, you oh, got to go change. Oh, I'll show it. Okay. Peggy made something really cool and we have to show you. I was like, we have to show them on Sunday shenanigans. Okay, I'll show it. Peggy's gonna go change her shirt. I'm, so I gotta you know put what? this I'm back. Not gonna, he is in super jealous mode. I'm gonna. Okay, I gotta be careful here. So you gotta move out of the way completely. Uh, no, actually, I gotta go change everything. Yep. Go, that's oh what, my god, I am. He is just, just over there go. snipping. Like, hey, you smell like me. I'm like, okay, stop what talking about it and go do it. Okay, let me pull the camera back so I can show you. These are. There's three of these, honey. Three. It's upside down. Hold on, I gotta show you. These are giant reading cloths, but look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it back far enough. Okay, so let's go one side at a time. So there is the one side. Let me go this way. Look at the big polar bear oh, on that side. Goes to a snow city. And this beautiful, like, it's like a winter goddess, northern lights, snowflakes, and polar bear. And oh my God, it's so pretty. So she had four, but she only has three to sell. Yeah, because that's how that works. Isn't it pretty? So yeah, it's got a blue, a blue fabric on the back. I'm gonna go hang these up before I um lose track of it. BRB. Okay, I had to just drape them like out of the way. I already I already showed them. Ha oh, okay. <laughs> ha. Peggy's like, I can talk touch them in a second. Wonder where the fourth one went. Geez, I remember. I wonder where it went. It's on my reading table right now. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, my, they my were not. It was not cheap fabric, but right away. that's right. I was like, "How many did you get, honey?" Well, actually, you took care of that right in the store. I'm like, I, th I'm I like, absolutely I think. I'm like, I absolutely did. Three. And I was like, and "You said no, no, no." I said, "How many do you want to sell? Three, How add one three. to however many you want to sell." Um. Oh, possible topic, dating world today from a married perspective. Yeah, because we talked about our, what our dating like deal breakers would be, but we didn't, didn't we? But we didn't talk oh. about what our dating, like we talked about what dating red flags would be if we were dating, but again, in the future, you know, but we didn't talk about what our dating green flags would be. Yeah. So that would be a good one. Kisses my ass in just the right way. Oh my God. Barb's like dating Tolerate today. my bullshit. Look at dating today. Do yourself a favor. Stay single and get a cat. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my God, the unicorn. Look who's back. Look don't, who's don't, back. Honey, you have to ignore him. You literally just changed your shirt. Bobby. Which, by the way, you changed your shirt into one that's got like spots all over it. No, no, no. I had to wash my hands. I just got a little, that's a drop of water. Oh, so you just can't be trusted. Yeah. I'm a shit show. Yeah. Who is fucking surprised that I can't wash my hands without getting water on me? Just as, as Barbie, part of I'm going to vacuum you if you I do get up. dibs, but when we're buying, when we're buying fabric, I like to tell her up front. <gasps> Please tell me you just saw that. What? Our hummingbird just came all the way into the balcony. Oh, yeah. Hummingbirds. No, yeah. like he came all the way in. Like he was just like right there at the window. Yeah. 
Oh my God. She comes in once in Peggy a while. always sees the damn hummingbird and I never get we to have, see it. Yeah, we have a couple of little hummingbirds that hang out around here. We're just like and the wilderness show today. They're 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 re, they're, re, they're fairly my plain. They're not any there's not like a jeweled hummingbird or anything like really, really bright. No. So they're fairly brownish, little touches of green on them. Yep. Um, so they're they're hard to spot. Lisa never wears her fucking glasses. So they're hard to spot as it is, Oops. and she never gets to see them. Peggy's they... shop. Here's the link to Peggy's shop. Those aren't listed. She got some other bags listed. Yeah, last they're night. not up yet. We're gonna do pictures for those and put them up in the shop later today. No, those are our, I just put those up last night. You took pictures yourself? What? The the cloths. Oh. Okay, let's back when up. When are the cloths going up? I just did. A, I just put. I just put the bags that I did up last night. I said that. So the those reading cloths and the other ones that I'm planning later today. I'm doing reading cloths all week. Those are going. Everything's going up on Thursday. Oh, okay. So you're not getting the reading cloths up right away. These ones, not unless people are like freaking out and call dibs. Okay, we'll see. They might go up later today. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll go up on Thursday, which is when. Okay, you guys can have exclusive early access. First comes first. Oh first yeah. Come, first serve. Message if anybody the shop. wants, if anybody wants one of those ones, there's only three. <laughs> there's only three. Message the shop, and I'm happy to like reserve them from you for you guys instead of instead of pulling the rug out and selling them to the general public. Um, you should tell them you how guys are going to charge for them. Do you know? Uh. I haven't, I was I haven't that. calculated that yet. Okay. We don't know. They're, they're a little bit okay, crazy because that was the most expensive fabric that we was, bought that in was, ages. That was really... that. Yeah. yeah. I, I, okay, okay. I'll be haunting your shops in Suffolk, which... Yeah, otherwise Lisa will take them all. 75 Canadian. You shopped to Australia, right? Was it 75? I shipped to Australia. Yeah. 75 Australian should be... Canadian? Yeah, Canadian, Canadian and Australian are pretty similar. 75 Australian... No, I mean, Canadian. 75 Canadians. Stop doing that to me. You're, Please, you're horrible. You're you horrible. I didn't do it. You did it. I mean, I sold them up for 75 Canadians. So whatever your conversion is, that's what I'm selling them for. Yeah. Because I don't I don't need to go any higher than that. And our dollar and sucks right now. So if you're in the US, you'll get a deal. Oh, our dollar super sucks right now. Yeah. Ooh. Uh can, we can't answer that. Can we answer that? What would your theme What be? would your theme be for a tarot deck? I'm not answering that. Sips tea. I mean coffee. No particular reason why I'm not answering. There's that. no reason. None. No reason. Whatsoever. Anyways. Um, okay, moving on. <laughs> I can't keep up with commenting. I'm making a cake and dinner at the same time, Bohemian girls. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Wait, 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 what's going on? I can't. Oh, keep up with commenting and making cake and I, well, I want cake. We're intentionally ignoring the question, Sophie. Yeah. No, there's no question there. Nope. No we question. Don't see it. No, nothing, nope. nothing, nothing. Anyway, so what else have y'all been up to? So what else is new and exciting <laughs> in the world today? I'm making nothing but reading cloths this week. And you changed your clothes only to continue petting the dog because you're dumb. Because I'm, it's, it's fine. It's minimizing the damage. I there are days where I will I will go and do some sewing for a bit. This is how my day goes. I go and sew. I go over and I get some sewing done. Right. I mean, if you guys could see, if you guys could see what I look like after petting him for 20 minutes. So I will go get some sewing done. I will do whatever. I will come over and take a break because I've made no secret of the fact that due to due to rocking the disability follies, I take lots of breaks. So I'll go do some sewing. I'll come over and take a break. He jumps up. I pet him for like 15 minutes while I'm taking a break. Then I have to change my clothes and start again. There is time. There are days when I have completely changed my clothes from head to toe three or four times. He's working his way into your lap. He is. The only okay. <laughs> I've explained this to you before. The, the issue is that a, you're a sucker. The issue is keeping me from sneezing my guts out or be yawning all the time. <laughs> and you're a sucker. And I'm a sucker. You know what? You know what? I'm a sucker. <laughs> I got you, Peggy. Says Bohemian Girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Hilarious. Being smoking me. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah. Anyway. It is, is new-ish. I've had. I don't want to not. I don't want to not love my dog. You, oh, he's, right? he's he knows he's loved. But you min you minimize you minimize. When you have allergies, when you have, uh, when you're allergic to your pet, you minimize your damage. You don't just ignore your dog. Yeah. If y'all don't look at the moon market, the witch's moon moon market for stuff. Lisa Peggy Pepezes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, I think we are Pepezes. Did you see it? We have, we're, we're Pepezes. Look at it. Oh, I got something else to show off. Do you? Yeah. My little, my little, the little deck you got me. Oh yeah. You should, sh wait, did, did you show? I would show, I haven't put. Yeah, go show that. I don't know if you show that. <laughs> I'm not letting this go, y'all. Oh, Jesus, Bruno, you can come back. Oh, those later. are crunchy. Look at it. It's Hello Kitty and it's a unicorn. Hello Kitty and a unicorn. My worlds have collided. It's amazing. Y'all, I'm saying nothing. 
about that subject because a there's nothing set in stone uh, oh peggy's little deck are you sure we didn't show this for some reason i feel like we should oh we might have showed this in a member video you may have shown it I've never, I've never i've never i've never least look what lisa got me pixiehill.com it's on etsy pixie it hill yeah focus. go uh, on go on etsy and look up it's not gonna focus it's the it's the tiny tarot you have to show it it's in a tin now it's it's in also a, terrible at keeping secrets y'all so don't push it's in a little round tin oh i just dropped one. Oh, you want me to hold the tin so you're gonna drop more yeah, probably it's no okay. i don't think i, I want you it. touching my it. stuff we caught it it's okay one of them tried to escape Look at how small. Look like, at how tiny they are. Like for the record, do I have another object like to show? An object? Oh yeah, here, here, here. I've got a, I've got a. Oh here, here, tarot. here. There you go. There's a tarot. I have the sacred create. Fuck that. I'm gonna show. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm being awkward. Should, this, this is gonna be awkward. There's my. Okay. Okay. If you matter. are into the novelty of having teeny, teeny, teeny. Look at standard tarot card. Tiny tarot. Card. <laughs> like, like for this and is the wiser tarot. This is this is not gonna. Oh, maybe it is. This is not gonna pick it up very well. But uh, oh, not, we did show it in one of the last live streams. I thought so. I can't remember. I'm yeah. super. I am super but excited it is so about this. So tiny and so cute. It's, I thought I had my. Dad oh, we here, did so show it on a live stream. Anyway, I told you. I'm probably. You can't know what? Me. I'm probably gonna insist on showing it at least one more time. Because I'm getting, it's great. I'm getting comfortable because I'm also getting. You're here. getting mauled. I'm getting mauled by a <laughs> Does dog. it come with a magnifying glass? No. No. It's yeah, I this is I can't keep secret. It's just we're gonna just mm, we're gonna mm, we're gonna yeah. mm, 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 anyway. Mm. Um you guys showed one last. Yeah, okay. Okay, somebody scissors in a microscope. <laughs> yeah, what did I back on the in the last hot takes? Oh yeah, shit, I tried to talk you out of that's right. Tarot, that's what you back. Tarot emblemata. That's the one that I backed, I'm know. pretty sure um yeah six of centimeters yeah for reals i'm serious like it's just yeah what if i oh got... and we're doing a tarot walkthrough together we are going to be doing a tarot walkthrough together keep your eyes on, on a that. really cool deck that we, we should found. film that we should film we that should after film podcast that today. yeah yeah we'll, film that today. Okay. we'll get that we done. found a really cool deck we're going to walk we're through really it excited to show you it's like yeah it's, cool. it's going to be awesome that's super cool have either of you had a tarot dream and if so what do you think it was trying to tell you Ooh. i don't think i've had a tarot dream I've had plenty of terrible my dreams, but my I don't dreams know if I can are my dreams are a little bit more. Uh... Oh my god! Do you all want to know? You want to talk dreams? Hold on, I got to tell you this story. I have become so attached to my iPad. <laughs> no, let me yeah, tell you the story, it. Sophie. Okay, I've been I've been become so attached to my iPad. I'm doing tons of work on it. Like I plan on it now. I have been designing cards on it. I've been doing all kinds of stuff on my iPad, and it's become the thing that like I clutch to myself, like my precious, all the time. Do you know what I've been dreaming about or having nightmares about? I had, I had a nightmare the other night that somebody literally broke into my car and stole it. And I was trying to use some kind of online find my iPad, iPad feature to like track it down and track down the thief. Then like two nights later, I have another nightmare. And this one, I don't think I told you this one in detail. You know those bridges that have like the metal archy things? You know those? Yeah. Okay. So Peggy was driving, right? We're in we're in the car. Wow, we're super fast. I know. It's, get, okay. It'll fix itself. Okay. Peggy this is and I, a really nice webcam too. It's because I keep talking. It's because I talk in my hands. Okay. Anyways, Peggy and I... I do need my hands for this story, though. Okay. I need my hands for the story. Okay. Anyways. Fuck up the camera. See okay. if I care. Good. <laughs> um, anyways, we're driving towards one of those bridges, right? And Peggy is, like, just off center so that, like, there's the road and, like, the railings on the bridge. And then just to the oh, side, there's, like, a little sticky. She wasn't all the way on the lane. And I'm like, honey, I don't think you're on the lane. She's like, oh, it's fine. She drives us off this bridge. There, no. are, t there are iPad detox programs no, no, for people listen. like you, Lisa. This is how bad it gets. So she... she how bad it gets. I don't even know if I told you. You drove us off the bridge. So we weren't quite on the road. We were like riding this weird railing. And we ended up riding up the round high part, like up here instead okay. of on the road. And then you drove us right off the bridge into the river. Uh huh. So I'm like, quick, pull oh, down wait, the windows. Wait, wait. Yeah. And you're like, leave me to drown so you can save your iPad. No, I didn't leave me to story. drown. No, I didn't leave you to drown. Listen. So as we're falling, plunging down towards the river, I'm like, honey, quick, roll down the windows. So she rolls down the windows. Now, my work bag with my iPad is in the trunk, okay, or in the hatch. So we're rolling down the windows. This is oddly specific, no, like I, really specific. It was specific. so detailed. So then we go underwater and we we swim out the windows, right? And so Peggy goes up to the surface, so do I. And I'm like, I got to go back for my iPad. So I go back under the water and I like wrestle the hatch open to rescue my iPad from underwater because somehow it was going to be okay, I guess. <laughs> and like save okay, okay, the but, iPad. 
Now, if you were to interpret a dream like this. Oh, no. Maybe like, okay, so you're addicted to your iPad. Like, it's a problem. You will risk your life for your iPad. Correct. This is addiction level problem. It's a problem. You know how it's much? It's a problem. I, it's a problem. I have like 17 projects on the go and the iPad is like keeping me sane. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. Um, Hi, Bruno. Yep. Robin's like, I live on my iPad. I'm watching on my iPad right now. So glad we finally have community tab now. <laughs> You didn't have community tab before? I don't watch YouTube to be fair on my iPad, but yeah. Um, yeah, it was wild. Yeah, I'm super addicted to my iPad. Like it's literally changed my life. Like it's ridiculous. Um yeah, look, we, all, look, we all know we all know Lisa's crazy. No one's surprised here. It's fine. It's why we love her. <laughs> That's kind of what I think. That's what gets me through the day. Robert like, says okay, as a I digital artist, I relate to this so much. Yeah. I have always got something open something open and i'm digital planning now and like it's a whole thing i'm actually i'm actually liking my ipad i've never really been a huge fan of ipad because i've always been able to do so much more on a pc yeah but ipad does have ipad is much better with the touch screen the touch screen technology <laughs> yeah so i'm really enjoying it yeah keisha natira says uh do you have a video on using tarot for manifestations I have been covering magical topics in the You're in the Unicorn Fam. We've been covering it in Magical Unicorn videos. I do have it on my list to do one specifically for mantra and affirmation work. Tarot for mantra and affirmation work that's going to come up. Um, probably not for a few months, but it is planned. Um, Your dog is so oh my God, Peggy, it's when you have it on repeat. It's repeat. It's okay. I love her. It's okay. I love her that we know it's a problem. <laughs> it's on repeat. Me. I love you. I do, love, I do love you. Yes, I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Apparently it's a one-sided <laughs> arrangement, but that's so okay. You say it like you're my like mental health handler. <laughs> it's concerning. Am I not? Um, you're still on the iPad Pro 2017. Oh wow! I they last. Look at her ignoring that question. Absolutely. Oh, wait, 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 what did you ask me? I'm sorry. You said it's like you're thinking. You're my, it's like you think you're my mental health handler. Or whatever what did you say? It. I said, well, am I not? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> that's what I said. So it's like, I'm not okay. going to answer that. Wait, what did okay. you say? Okay, well, one of us, one of us. Oh, my God. Oh. I just got community tab on iPad recently. <gasps> you know what I just found out? I've got to figure out how to do it and in, in what way I want to she do found it. The thing to but I, no, YouTube just added a feature where you can actually do like early release videos to oh, members. Oh, yeah. I got to figure out how to do that and, and such. But I might start doing that Give a Give members bit. first crack at stuff. Yeah. I think it's a fun thing to do. <sighs> Um, Bruno, 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 you're a you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's be honest, Bruno is both of your mental health handlers, like for real. Look, yeah, look at look at him, look at him. He's showing Peggy his butt. He's like, do you see my butt? This is what I this need is scratch. Where I would like, yeah, this yeah. is what I need scratched right now. Yeah. Now, but I stop. You dare, you dare to stop. And he, okay, okay. Don't forget, this little <laughs> fucker doesn't have a job, so. <laughs> He doesn't have a job. He's a lay around the house, fucking deadbeat, doesn't do anything. So he has nothing better to do than to go. So I have nowhere to go. I can just keep doing this till I either get the bone, get to the bone, or you give in. He's doing it right now. Yeah. Yeah. At least you know where you stand with him. I mean, it's true. Yeah. But it's true. But I will tell you right now, when they're lazy deadbeats like this little bastard, they just, he's got nothing better to do to make my day a living hell. Yeah. What was the last premonition you had? Um, oh my God, Paper Montero, this is typical male behavior. <laughs> oh, that was a question mark. Did you say typical male behavior? Is that what you said? No, I said typical deadbeat behavior. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think I said deadbeat. I didn't mean to say, if I said male, I meant to say, I meant to say deadbeat or spoiled dog or whatever <laughs> other thing, because yep. he is such a princess. He is a princess. I don't know when the last time either one of us had like a straight up premonition. premonition. You've had dreams. I have, you have, uh, but I don't dream know if I can remember an example. Dream right interpretation now. is my thing. Yeah. And she's had several dreams. I've had <laughs> dreams too, where it's like, oh, that means this. And then that's what ends up happening. <laughs> Dog math. You pet yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pet yeah, me for hours and you stop this, equals zero pets and you hate me. This is his life. Yeah. This is his life, and it's like, and it's not yeah. like, it's, and, and it's not like he's gonna go. Well, gotta go to work. We'll pick this up in eight hours. He's like, no, no, no. I'll do this for eight hours. This yeah. is my job. Yeah, you guys, this pencil thing, like the Apple pencil, the best invention of of life. I have a spare knockoff one, like not a knockoff one, but like you know, like a not Apple version of a generic whatever. It's not the same, but I keep one at work <laughs> in case I ever accidentally leave this at home. 
And then when I'm at work and I have my tablet and I'm planning, I still at least have a pen. Yeah, so pencil that I can my, use. mine is on the way out. It's got white splotches on the screen and I lost the pencil. So I'm procrastinating. My I, I procrastinate until until things just die. Yeah, you're bad. For my that. phone right now. My she phone, always just takes my hand me down phone. I took her hand me down phone because I don't she's the only person she, except for oh, except for a bit of texting here. and stuff. I do I do everything on the computer, so except for like glides once in a while, I don't um, use my phone for much except for talking to her. So she she gets the new phone, I get the hand me down, and then I just use it till it dies. Right now, yep. my battery doesn't last for more than like two days. Yeah, I gotta leave it plugged in all the time. What apps do I use? Um, I use. I'm back Pro to having a phone on a cord. Yeah, um, I use Procreate and um, not. Oh, what's it called? Yeah. It's by. Uh, yeah, lovely. My sister's dog will stick to her lap during Zoom meetings. Uh, it's not Adobe, but it's Photo by Oh Affinity, Affinity Photo, and Procreate. Yeah, Affinity Pro, Pro Affinity Photo and Procreate. I've also got Final Cut Pro on here, so I can edit videos on my iPad, which is amazing. Yeah, it's a nice break if I want to like watch TV and like edit. I still have to do that. I have to see if I can get. I still have to see if I can. It's edit a subscription, videos. which is why you oh. want to do it. Oh no, because I got iMovie or something. Yeah, you got iMovie on there. That does basic editing for sure. I only ever um, do basic editing. I am too lazy you know to do neat? the shit you do. You know what's neat about Final Cut Pro uh, editing on the iPad, though, is that it's got this feature where you can literally, instead of, like, typing, like, text to show up on the screen, you can handwrite. So if you've ever seen a video of mine with, like, what looks like handwritten text on the screen, I've literally handwritten that text on the screen, which is awesome. Um, and it'll do it like an animation. Like, it'll show you, like, writing it, which is really cool. Um, um, but I just recently found out how to... I think he's out of loose fur because this is not as bad as it was the first time oh, around. Oh, good. Um, I've now just figured out how to color on my on my iPad. Yeah. So you can actually yeah, import. I, I actually scanned in, using my iPad, I scanned in pictures of some coloring pages. And you can pull those into Procreate. And then you can color them in Procreate. But you can also pro color them in an app called, is it called Pigment? Pigment is my coloring app. Yeah, Pigment is my coloring app. So you can, like, scan an image. Bring it into Pigment. This is actually really cool. I'll show you this. This is awesome. So, I look, it's got my tarot art on the back, too. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so, if I go into my work, I haven't done much, but I'll just show you how it works. So, like, this is an image that actually, let's go into this and hit color. So, this, can I show it? Yeah. This image comes from a kawaii, but you know the creator of the kawaii tarot, Lulu, Lulu Mayo? She has a coloring book. So, I scanned one of the pages from the coloring book. And you can literally even do the fill trick. Once you pull it in here, you can actually take a color and just like fill in an area, even though it was a scanned page. It's the coolest, it's the coolest thing. So you can also do regular so brush now, coloring. So yeah, so it's so her iPad is now her coloring book. It's my coloring book. She my has planner. everything on that thing. You know what she does? She sits here with the computer on, watching a movie or doing whatever, and then just over here on her thing, she's got, she builds a command center. Correct. Right? Yeah. I like to multitask. It's a thing. How do you think I get all my shit done? <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> Robin's reflections don't tempt me to get an editing program. <laughs> oh, seriously, Final There's Cut free. Pro is awesome. There are it's free awesome. editing programs so that you can get. There is, but Final Cut Pro on iPad is really good. It's like six bucks a month. It's really cheap. Um, am I using a particular digital planner for good nights? Yes, I am, and it's freaking amazing. Let me show you. It's so good. Okay, Peggy's gonna be so bored. That's okay. We're gonna be uh, quick. I'll be quick. Uh, this is uh, no, I'm covered in fur. He's so. I got, I got I got away from the worst of it, so I don't think I'm gonna start sneezing. Let me go into a month that doesn't have a lot going on. So this is my, um, this is a planner called by a, a brand called Happy Downloads. She does a lot of YouTube content about planners. This is the rainbow. She's got one that's got different colors. I like the rainbow, obviously. Um, but you can build your planner. So you can basically build it to have the weekly layout you want. I've already, actually, I'm showing you my 2024 because I've already done my 2024 setups. So like I have everything in here from, um, I, I create all these different, like, yeah, like this is a layout I created for my deck log when I bring in decks. She's a geek. This this shows She's me super geeky the date about this stuff. I got the deck in, the name of it, whether or not I kept it. Oh, it's out of focus again. Hello. I keep Thank telling you. her that she should take some of these pages that she's creating and make them a little bit more gen more general. And then, and then I didn't make this. I bought this. No, but once you have them. You I've just added text to it. Oh, okay. You, no, can't you set that. up a bunch of. No. Oh, I tried to set it up and it was a pain in the freaking ass. I do not want to make them. Hate. That's not what I said. You said I should. You know, if, as long as you can, you can share that and not sell it. No, I can't share this. Oh no! Well, I can share what it looks like, but I can't. It's nothing I can download and then share. Oh, I thought because all the background imagery is not mine. She is such yeah. a geek about this shit. But anyways, such a geek. This has things okay. like I love you this. anyway. I love you. Too. I love you. Anyways, is that is so, that what comes next? <laughs> so look, I have things like in, in each month. 
I have like, I do my content planning and then I do my regular appointments planning that also has my live streams. But then look, there's like a weekly layout. It's so good. And what I love about this is I can handwrite. I can, I can, I keep it with the magical keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, and I bought Montero. fonts, so I have cute handwritten fonts. And oh my god, it's a whole. Gabriel Montero, book. God forbid we ever add up our monthly app slash streaming payments, don't do right? Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Don't do that. Don't do that unless you really want to scare the shit out of yourself. Let me get you the link to the to the to the planner I use because it's my. I did a lot of research into them, and this is the best one I found for being able to customize it and kind of build it exactly the way you want it. So if you're partial to a particular layout, yeah, I thought you did a bunch of that yourself. I tried to make like three pages for myself and gave up because I hated oh, it so much. Oh, okay. Um, then never mind my comment from earlier. So this happy downloads that I just shared, that is the link to where I get my planners and they have stickers and like they're practical. It's all practical stuff. It's not also it's cute. It's a cute aesthetic, but it's practical. Oh, Robin said, did I miss how was your Halloween? And are you ready for Christmas? Our dogs are, they allow fireworks around here on mm -hmm. Halloween. So we just stay home Yeah, and we're on a quiet street. We're in a condo on a quiet street where no kids come. So mm -hmm. it was just, it ended up being just another night for us. Um, good news. Anybody else who had an amazing Halloween story to tell, obviously, please share. Yes, please share. Please share. Uh, good Christmas. Notes. I don't know what we're doing for Christmas this year. I think we're just gonna like pick a nice restaurant, keep it low key. We're doing a really casual Christmas this Super year. Super casual. Every Everybody is an adult and there's no grandkids, so yep. it's just super, super quiet. Yep. Um, Good Notes is on a subscription service if you upgrade to Good Notes 6, which I did, and it's worth it. And it was like something ridiculous, like $25 for a year or something. Um, worth it considering how much I use it. Not a problem at all for me, value wise. Yeah, but you know what? It's really tempting to go ahead and get something like that and then not use it. I was kind of, when you were telling me about it, yeah, I can't help it. I've got Bruno shedding all over me. I'm perfectly, I whenever I, I get too much dander and fur, I start yawning. She does start yawning. Um, I just I have feel the like current, I need to come with a disclaimer. I have the current iPad. I'm not Pro. tired. My dog is just cuddling me. Yeah. Sophie, so it's just the current, it's whatever the current iPad Pro bigger one is. Um, which thank God Peggy had to talk me in. I was going to uh -oh. get the smaller screen. Wait, <laughs> hun, I was going to get the smaller screen iPad pro and Peggy, oh. Peggy talked me into the bigger one. And thank God, because the amount of stuff I've done on, and I needed the bigger screen for like the editing would never happen. Um, I'm sorry. You were about to respond to somebody. Oh, um, no, Barb just said she just posted dog math to the support to the tarot, to the support of tarot page, but don't let Bruno watch it. Oh my God. That's funny. And yeah, we're going to put up a tree and, and, Robin is asking, do we put up a tree and put stuff under it? The dogs leave the tree alone. We're they fine do. that way. Yeah. We're just, we're all adults. We're all established. We There's very, very little that we actually need other than like little kitschy things. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy putting up a do, tree for decor, but that's like basically about it. Yeah. I don't really do much else. Yeah. We might, um, we might um, do a quilt up for John for Christmas. He mentioned, he mentioned in past, I got to check with him, but he mentioned in passing that he mentioned in passing because he's moved in the last year. He's mentioned in passing that um, that it's a little cooler at night where he lit, where he is right now, like in the in the in his bedroom. So he mm -hmm. might want another blanket. But other than that, yep. Other than that, it's just useful little trinkets. Yep. Uh, Natira live readings will be next Saturday, I believe. Typically, I'll just tell you when I typically schedule it, so then you can plan for it. Um, I typically let's see if I can open up. Hi, Bruno. Open Hi. Mic. Yeah, it's typically the second Saturday of the month. So typically, the whatever the second Saturday and is. And then you'll put up a post. I usually put up a post a day or two ahead of time so you can get added to the list. Maybe you need to put it up like like a week ahead of time. I'll try to remember. We'll see. And give people extra time. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm surprised Lisa doesn't hang decks on the trees as ornaments. Oh, thanks. Now she's going to. I mean, now she's gonna. Peggy can add. Robin, decks you know to the better. Tree. Don't give her ideas. You can hang. You can hang like Amazon gift cards from the tree, or like gift cards to reflections. That'd be awesome. Oh, or gift cards to Etsy. Oh, or I wonder if Kickstarter has gift cards. That'd be convenient. I'll I'll take all the deck purchasing gift gift cards for Christmas. No, you can. Do have you see the Peggy's gas. face? She's got you can have, deer and headlights. You can have the gas gift card. I'll save that. Um, I do the live reading stream for Magic Unicorns and up. That is the tier situation. We do book club and other perks at the supportive tier. Then it's and you're doing readings. it for and, and you're doing it for hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually live for like six to eight hours on average. She answers it's fun. You, you but okay. But here's something that not everybody knows: that you answer the questions in the order that they are asked in the post that I put up ahead of time. Post. Yeah, she puts up a post ahead of time so you can go in and list your question. 
and then you answer them in order yeah because not everybody can that, go live that, that yeah. way if you're not there for the live you can go oh i was about a third of the way down I can start here and here. Yeah, if you want to find yourself, just make sure you sort the comments on that post by like newest to oldest. Yeah. And I work from oldest to newest when I'm recording. Yeah. Yeah. I said that weird, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Brings a whole different meaning to the term deck the halls. Peggy said oh. a while ago and she has hysterical like memory loss, but she told me I could put wall racks up in the hallways here and hang more decks. And she keeps forgetting she promised me that. And I'm like, but my wall racks in the bedroom are getting full. So like I need to expand outward a little. See the look? You see it? We can't put them in the hallway. You said I could. There's not, there's no, nothing, nothing's, well, that might be wide enough. It's wide enough. There's plenty of wide enough wall. We're probably going to have to bite the bullet and get you a proper bookshelf to just really cram them in. If I, no, because but, I hang them on the wall. I hang them in the bags you make me. Well, I will tell you right now, I'm thinking, <laughs> of, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about rehoming my fish tank. Yep. And if that happens, that whole wall is available. Oh, did you see what she said? Oh my God, she's giving me a whole nother wall. I could have a living room rack. Uh, <gasps> living room rack would be convenient because then I could hang. Because look what I have next to me. I have like my Disney villains tarot for when I'm playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have my wiser tarot so that I always have a right away set out here. Disney Dreamlight Valley have, with a tarot deck? Yeah, I have my sacred creators here when I'm doing deck projects. I pull cards from this sometimes. So like I already have like five. I have my deck. So I have like five decks next to me. If I had a wall rack, that'd be, that would like clear okay, up. Don't give her an idea, Paper Moon. She I love would, this. We rent, and if it wasn't for the fact that we rent, she would probably have them on the ceiling. Oh my God. Sophie says, You know, Lisa, there's another answer to this. It's very simple. It's called be stashing. I do that. You I do stash. that. I just did one. Uh, this was the street where we saw Peggy lose her mind. <laughs> yeah. Want to lose one of my lot? Yeah. See, Robert says, I heard it. I'll be a witness. No. No. And Barb heard you say before about the halls. I'm so. deleting this. Once we're done, I'm deleting this, this video. Do I have a stalker card that's coming up right now? Um, I've been getting a lot of, well, I was getting the four of swords for a bit, which is not a surprise. Needed to take a little break. Um, what else was I getting? Uh, eight of wands, which also makes sense. Everything's kind of like Bruno, go going, going, going right now. Lots of like downloads and creative pushes and stuff. I'm trying to think what else has been like showing up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Now it's fully documented that I agreed to give her more space for tarot. She did. Yeah. On I'm just not very bright sometimes. She did it. Uh, Dustin wants a mini tarot advent calendar. Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, be cool. That would be so cute. It's be 78 cards. It's got to have three or four cards. Well, no, no, 78 decks. 78 decks. 78 mini decks. Not 78. Sorry, for, for the for advent, 24, right? One well, through 24, one through 25. Well, wait, what's 78 divided by 24? No, no, no. Oh, I guess you could build a deck throughout, but that's okay. Okay, no, <laughs> I want 25 decks. Greedy. I you know. could have a tw you could have a you 20. Could you could have a 20 day advent calendar, 21 days with all of the major arcana. And then each arcana is going to come with two or three random cards. You could do and then by the top. And then by Christmas day, you're getting an entire deck. Wait, 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 wait. 24 times three is 72. And then you have for the other six days, you could have, you could have, well, for 24 and 25, you could just have the extra cards. You could figure it out. Yeah. Well, the 25th, yeah. The 25th day is when you get your last cards. Your last set of cards on, on that Christmas would be fun. Day. I'm down. Yeah, I do de stash more than one deck at one time. Have you watched my this or that? Yeah, come on. Now. Yeah, you do actually. You, I do. You, you don't de stash. You don't de stash a lot at a time sometimes, but you de stash <laughs> regularly. Yep. So tell me, y'all, what are your favorite decks to work with right now? So Halloween's over. We're not quite in like Yule time yet. What are your favorite? Yeah, see, Dustin wants 25 decks too. I think you could have an advent That's stuff that's full of 25 done, mini decks. Dustin, you're you, yeah, Dustin likes decks. He's not alone in this crowd. Are you dumb? <laughs> like, are you new? What is going on? You could be like me and hardly ever have anything leave. You could. I don't have the space yeah. to be like that. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. If we had, okay, if, if we, we had the space, if we had the space, because you know the kind of romantic we're... shit she says to me, this is the kind of romantic shit she says to me, honey. If we won the lottery, we would have like a place, and we you would have a tarot room. It would like an exclusive tarot room. Well, considering 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 how hard you work, we're probably gonna have that night big house with a tarot room sooner Sunday. than later. But yeah, yeah, like if like we're we're in a two bedroom condo, so space yeah. is it's actually a decent sized condo. We got lucky. If yeah. space is still a thing, if if space were not an issue, then the instead of a purgatory deck, there would be the collector's area where decks that she's not regularly using could live. Yeah, like my own personal deck library. Well, if yeah, we basically. move, if we if we move that TV like you want over the that, fireplace, see, yeah. that puts everything right in front of a window. I don't 
think I would mind that because the shelves would protect stuff. So I could definitely line that shelf. I, I could do that. Well, we would put in a proper bookshelf. Yeah. Nice wide. See, one. we move the TV over there. Yep. See, you have Let's there, there is room. <laughs> there is space where you could keep all your surplus ducks instead of regularly rehoming. Mm -hmm. But we have to we have to rearrange things. You can't have that. That's my That's pantry. My pantry. <laughs> yeah. We have a pantry. So many good decks. Terror of the Hidden Realms is. We great have like our little redneck corner right there. Right yep. there, we have our little redneck corner where we have yep. the crappy shelves. Yeah. Where all the stuff, all the little pantry foods that don't fit in the kitchen, they're just sitting here on a shelf. So here's the decks people are working with. Terror of the Hidden Realms, Terror of the Witch's Garden all year round, Terror of the Cosmic Seed and Dreamy Moons. Ooh, Oak Ash and Thorn and Thistledown is perfect at this time of year. Um, this might hurt Tarot, Mooka, and my newest acquisition, the Playful Tarot. Is it Playful or Playful Heart? I don't know if I know the Playful Tarot. Unless you mean Playful Heart, in which case I love that he one. He's going to sleep for the rest of the day. He is literally moving into toddler mode where he's getting tired and trying to fight it. Kristen's playing with Trail and Fidel, Luna, Paradoxical Rose. I had that. I ended up rehoming it. <laughs> the Pagan Otherworlds is also really good this time of year. It's a good transition fall to winter. She-Wolf and Vision of the Muse. Tarot Volatile. I almost bought that. Like... Was it last week? Oh, during Three Fat Readers. I almost bought it right after Three Fat Readers, but then I remembered I hate the <laughs> Nine of Cups. <laughs> Nameless one? Yes. Um, how small would a mini deck have to be? To be in a, how small would a mini deck have to be? Like the standard minis, like the ones that come, like the little, like the everyday witch mini, like, you know, those little minis you have that are about this big? Yeah. That'd be perfect for an advent calendar. Yeah. I've got a bunch of minis. I don't know how many I've got. Yeah. If you suggest to Lisa stuffing her stocking with decks, she's going to demand hip waiters. Yeah, pretty much. We have giant stockings in our storage, actually. Oh, yeah. The big do. giant ones. You can that's about, that yeah, us. that's pretty much you could one, like one leg of a hip, there. Yeah, one leg of a hip waiter. Yeah. Yeah, you could fit like 10 decks in there. I can't get you decks. You can. You just have to I ask. I cannot get you. You just have to ask the internet or or look, open up my computer. Here, I'll show you how to do it. You go into my browser uh -huh. and you how start typing. Which one you like? This is how. You start typing the word tarot, right? And you get my spreadsheet. And you just double check to see if I have it already. Here's your tarot okay, decks, my tarot you, decks, oracle decks. Have you okay? Where, 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 where are you keeping a list of decks that you've already rehomed? Because that would be my luck. Oh, I already rehomed. That's on the first tab. See, rehome. Oh wow! <laughs> Don't pay attention. <laughs> she just started looking as I scrolled through the list of rehomed decks, and she was like, "You've rehomed over a hundred decks, probably over the years." Yeah. You're scary. No, some of what I do is review and then pass on or review and then give away. Well, I get that. I like I, doing that. Okay, okay. But I was blindly oblivious to the idea of just how many you've done this with. <laughs> I only scrolled twice, honey. The list just keeps going. That's what I said. <laughs> I was blindly, I was, I was happy. Sometimes I bought decks just to I was home. very, I was very For happily. Giveaways. I very happily did not know this. Now that I do, I'm a little scared. Yeah. I, I personally think Peggy could totally buy me a tarot deck. She would just literally have to ask the internet. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy Lisa a deck. Um, what should I get her that she doesn't already have? And, ooh, and that she has said she's interested in that she hasn't already ordered. Future ancestors for this time what of year. What are you doing? I'm trying to shut the door. Are you getting cold? Yes. Are you having a good time? Um, what are you trying to do? I was going to try to... Here, hold that. Hold that. Oh, I get to see I your can, bum. No, I'm not going to show you. I bet you I get to see your bum. No, you don't. Well, that is no fun. I thought she was going to have to lean over. No. Well, show me your bum anyway. No, after the stream, babe. I'll show you my bum after the stream. Okay. Um. Oh, my candle of the cave. So is mine. I'm very excited about that one, actually. That was a Dustin and Danny made me do it deck. Totally ordered that one. Cannot wait. Looks beautiful. Um. Toadstool Tarot. Robin's excitedly awaiting the arrival of the Art of Witchery Tarot that Danny teased on her channel. Mm. Did I see that one? Did she do a whole video on that, that one? Yep. Ooh, White Sage Tarot up? is my winter but not Yule deck. That's a good one. Kristen Louise, I have a wish list my husband can just refer to. I hope he thinks to use it for Yule. Just remind him. Print off multiple copies and just tuck them into his wallet. Put them under his computer. Stuff one in his shoes. Put one in a jacket pocket. You know, it could be subtle. Yeah, Lorena, <laughs> Lorena also says at least she gets another deck in its place to trade or money in exchange. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fair. Sometimes I do a lot of giveaways. Sometimes, just give, sometimes, sometimes I, give them, yeah. I donate some. I give some away. Yeah. I send I some just, to friends. I just would prefer not to be confronted with the fact. <laughs> no, you won't get yelled at. She doesn't even pay attention anymore. She's like, what else? She yeah. knows you make me buy stuff. She just accepts no, this is fine. a part of our friendship. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> she just, yeah. I know I know. Dustin made me do it, but I don't know how many times. So I just, I can still like you. It's fine. You can just pretend that it's fine. I can fine. just pretend. 
Yeah, one of one of one of the um... You're still my son, don't worry. Aww. Wow, the Tear of the Divine was on sale for eleven dollars. Wow. Awesome. It's fine. I love her. It's fine. Say what? You must have said it again. It's fine. I love her. It's fine. The, the repeating. The mantra you do to keep yourself sane. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, I need to. Yeah. I, I really need to. My husband thinks I have too many decks already. He won't get me any for, any for gifts. The way around that is to find out what his weakness is. Well, honey, you've got enough beer. You don't need more beer. Or, hey, honey, you, well, with Dawn, it's motorcycle, motorcycle parts for her oh, husband. Oh, yeah. Every time he buys like a fancy new motorcycle part, she's like, that's more decks for me. Yeah, gotta keep it fair. Care, That's why I don't buy Kevin's anything amazing. and I still lose out on Did y'all see Kevin? This game does not work in my favor. Did y'all see Kevin and Peggy's Q&A that's on my channel? If you have not seen that, you need to go back. If you've never seen Don's husband, Kevin, go yeah, back and watch cool. Peggy and Don, or uh, not Peggy and Don, Peggy and Kevin, Kevin together. It was hilarious. It was amazing. It was so fun. Yeah. And then Don and, and I did one parts. too when we got together. That was last, God, that was last, last year? summer now? Last spring? When was it? It was over a year ago. It was over a year ago for yeah. sure. Yeah. We need to get together again. Yes, yeah, real one too. It's 40% off the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Oh, it was last year at too. Newt's. Yeah, when was that though? When was Newt's last year? Was it fall last year? No, it was like. Was it spring last year? Like Marchish? When was. Okay. For I anybody, know when it was this for year. For anybody who pays attention to this sort of stuff, when was the Northwest Tarot Symposium last year? 2022. 2022, because that's when we were, that's when we, that's when we hung up. Time has been moving so fast, though, that it's like really hard to tell yeah. how, how much time has been. How many Earth Tarot Kit is on sale? Imagine 100 or more decks on your walls. I don't have to imagine. I have she's more than 100 decks 100. on my walls. Yeah, she's got over 100 on her walls. <laughs> yep. It's a great do. system, though, because it doesn't, because your room still, the, the room is still open. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Now my big fear is that you you go get you get you get another area for decks, and then I'm over there slaving away making another couple of hundred bags for you. If I had a big shelf, though, I would probably only hang some, and then the rest would just sit on the shelf instead of hanging. You'd want pocket pouches for everything. No, no, no. Oh, I no, to, no, no. Let's get you a shelf. Then. Really? We, 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 we would be putting Make it, up your damn mind. We would have to put it in the middle of the room just randomly. Oh, we just got a new shelf, but we got no wall space. So it's just sitting in the middle of the room now. We just need to get the TV hung above the fireplace, and then we're good. Yeah. Oh, of, thanks, Kristen. Just get rid of the TV. We never turn that thing on. Like, we maybe, we maybe turn that TV on <laughs> once every other month. Sophie, I definitely do not have more than 100 on pre-order. I maybe have, like, Holy five. Holy shit. <laughs> maybe five. Wait, wait, wait. I misunderstood. Yes, you, you better not. What? Have more than a hundred on pre order? You might. No, I just said I have like five. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, How you doing, Bruno? Are you getting sleepy? Yeah, Dustin Nora has a shelf sleepy. that's kind of in the middle, but the way you've set it up, it's like a little book, like U shaped bookshelf area, which is really smart, actually. Yeah, um, but we don't have a space for that. It has been a long time since we pre ordered the Bohemian Gothic, right? The new edition. Oh, yeah, de decorative fishnet. Like See that we rent those. So wait, decorative fishnet. What? Oh, one thing. One thing. One thing that is in poor taste oh. to do as a renter is to drill holes into the ceiling. Uh, yeah. Because they can be difficult to patch slash repair, and gets the landlord real mad if they have to do it. How so, many decks do I have on order? Not just pre-order, but order. I think I'm waiting on like three, maybe four Kickstarters, and I've ordered one. Yeah, Bar deck. just get Lisa's shelves, and then right, I can five. sell more bags because Lisa will stop stealing them. I mean, in theory, that's in theory. true. In theory. Yeah, in theory. Oh, speaking of bags, we had a we had a mini announcement. Don't look at me. I don't remember the, the announcement. Um, <laughs> like, well, the, okay. the, the, the fabric that we the fabric that we did the pre order with. Wait, not everybody knows what you're talking about. You have to give context. Okay, there was a you give the context. Okay, I'll tell the background and then Peggy can tell us what's up. In the unicorn fam, we're doing a deck study club, and in October, November, we're studying the um, tarot vampires. And so what we did was a very special fabric pre-order thing where Peggy and I pulled the unicorn fam and we picked a very special fabric to use specifically for that deck. And we let the unicorn family pre-order bags to coincide with the deck study if they wanted one. So Peggy did a very special pre-order just for the unicorn fam. And she has a little left over. Is that the punchline? No, I have a lot left over. She has, you have a okay, lot? Okay, there's a story. I'll okay, tell the story. this is the small, this is the small drawstring bag. Okay. It's upside down. Oh, that's no, not. Side. That's not upside down. Yeah, yeah. So it's got like bats okay. built into the, I missed, the bats. So so everybody who wanted one pre-order, blah, 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 blah. Yes. When I was cutting the fabric for these, 
I miscut, I miscounted and had like 15 extra of these. Didn't we just list some in the shop? I, I listed the ones that I, basically the made ones. I, I basically, I make them, then I list them. So there's a bunch listed in the shop right now. Once I get the rest of them. So anybody who has been aware of this and wanting one and didn't get a chance still has a second chance at the drawstring bags. Yes. Um, there's also, there's also, I also made a, a couple of extra of the pocket pouches pocket just in pouch case. Small. Right. Excuse me. Make make a few extra. So there's like two pocket pouches, but there's gonna there's gonna be like 15 of these. So plenty to go around for anybody who didn't get it. Yeah, chance. there's a couple in the shop right now. Not uh, they're not that it matters. Well, I guess it matters. A few people had asked. Yeah. Had so, asked what was going so on. You know. And so once everything was once we may the, do another special. Once the dust for... settled, I realized I'd cut too many of these. Yeah. They're partly they're partly done now, and I'm gonna get them finished up in the next uh, week or so and get them yep. all lifted. And the magical unicorns and up are in the process no of pressure, no rush, just so you know it's there. Okay. The magical unicorns and up are in the process right now of voting on our next duck deck, not duck, duck our next uh, deck uh, for deck study, which will be starting in December and taking us through January. And it looks right now like the Tarot of the Witch's Garden is winning that yeah. poll. Okay. So just as a heads up, if anybody was curious what we might be studying next, it looks like it's probably going to be Tarot of the Witch's Garden, but it's not final yet until I close the poll in another couple days. Um, yeah, the fabric is really cool. Yeah, it's a yeah. really nice fabric. Does anybody think that the Heaven and Earth kit book is worth having? I already have the deck in the small box. Uh, I don't have that deck. I remember that the book didn't get into the very specific, if I remember right. Somebody who has it should answer this question. But something about it didn't get into detail about some of the symbols in the, in the deck. But I'm not sure how much or how little. You have 32 Kickstarters you're waiting on, Dustin? Tree of Witches Tarot 2. <laughs> wow. Well, let me go check. Maybe I'm lying. Do I have more than like one? Okay, hold do on. Do you really want to do this in front of me? Yeah, it's fine. I knew this was going to happen. I'm like, here we go. Yeah, let me just see. I don't think Jesus I Christ. Okay, okay. It's like, at a glance, it looked like it was $7,000 worth of something, and it was just a Kickstarter ad. I thought it was like her total stuff. Okay, These so- These are all your- pre oh, This is all the shit you've- Okay, so I'm actually waiting on- Deck wise, let's see. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I underestimated. So I'm waiting on 10 Kickstarters, it's Kickstarter decks. So what are you going to do to keep me from being pissed? I don't have to care if you're going to be pissed or not. Really? No, I don't have to care at all. Why not? Because I'm your sugar mama. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't be pissed. Still gonna Look be pissed. At you. No, those were backed over the last like year though. Some of those I've been waiting on for a very long time. Yeah, so that's not like just like the last sure month. The one, make sure, shouldn't you make sure you get the one you ordered before you order another one? That's ridiculous because Kickstarter's <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> yeah, you can have your empty pot. <laughs> that's got a little bit left in it. Kickstarters. You know how Kickstarter's look at this. Work. I'm having a heart attack. I don't attack. care. I'm not like, my God, fine. my God. And I got to see her fucking list. How many Kickstarters have you ordered? Where's Where's your list? Uh, in total, 68. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Yeah. 68. I gotta start making more bags. I'm not even because... a super backer. I don't know how many you have to back before you're a super backer. Isn't it 100? Yeah. You know what my very first ever Kickstarter was? My very first one was Exploding Kittens, which was a card game. And my first tarot deck I ever and backed that... on Kickstarter was The Last Unicorn. Tarot Oracle deck. Wow. It says tarot and oracle deck. Oh, tarot. Like you can use it either way is I'm guessing what they meant by that. So you're my sugar mama, huh? Yeah. And I back. Yeah. I'm your sugar mama. Yeah. Fine. Tell me I'm wrong. Eh. You make <laughs> most of the money. I work a full-time job, help you with your business and do all of my stuff. You're not over there sewing. Get over there. Okay. You do I'm all of your okay. own packing and if shipping. You, are my you do all mama, of your own product if you, photos. If you, nope, are my you do all of your own product photos, all of your own packing and shipping. Okay. But if, if I'm the sugar, if, if, if I'm the sugar baby butch or whatever the fuck you're supposed the to sugar call baby it, butch. am I not supposed <laughs> my to be just sitting, term. am I not supposed to be just sitting on the couch eating bonbons all day? What do you do when you're not sewing? I'm sitting on the couch eating bonbons, <laughs> but I don't do it all day. Only on the days you don't sew. <laughs> Listen to you. Oh my God. What's wrong with you? The way that that was so seamless with the timing. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're not sewing. Well, 
Oh my god. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go wash my face or do something. I literally just pet touched all the. Dogs. I'm like, let's pet the dog for like the last forty minutes Don't and then it. rub my hand on my face. That's why I started going. Go do it. Because you've got to be awake for podcast filming, too. Don't forget. Okay, I'm awake. I'm just yawning. You know what I mean. Like, alert, whatever. Sugar baby butch. Yeah, I know. That's, I'm like, legit. Be like a minute. Oh, know. Dustin says you're supposed to do it naked, Peggy. That's what you're doing wrong. Oh. I mean, I'm not opposed. She does it topless most of the time. Hey, Peggy just sits around without a shirt on most, most You overlook a gully. I don't fucking care. Yeah. I mean, I literally don't mind. It's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I have, oh my God, every time somebody says this, like so literally my heart like okay, explodes with well, joy. If I'm if I'm the sugar baby, then you're the sugar mommy and I should call you mommy. That's disgusting. Don't do that. Well, we've got to sort no, this out. No, no. <laughs> we'll okay. have to come up with a different term. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I am so excited to launch my Kickstarter. Y'all just don't even know. But the good news is I'm learning everything on this first deck so that hopefully we can just kind of like, it'll be quicker for future decks. That's the goal. Sugar um, mommy? But yeah, there are future deck plans for sure. Should I just say sugar mommy? If you ever don't, I will divorce you so fucking fast your head will spin. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> RFL, Lisa, that's disgusting. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, for real. I had no idea. So cute. Wait, no idea about what? I want to know. Um, fill me in. <laughs> Anyone order the new version of the Ritual Tarot? I kind of want the marked edition, because, but I love the original edition and it, I, I don't need the other one, so I'm not getting but you know what you did do the other day? Yesterday. Oh, God. What are you about to do? <laughs> Please don't do it. I will kill you. You. Not all of our stories are suitable for the internet, baby. We weren't naked. It was okay. No, there's lots of inappropriate things we say that are, have nothing to do with being naked. Everything we say is inappropriate. I know. That's kidding? kind of my point. No, I was... Wait, I'm scared. I, said I don't know if I should let you talk. I really don't. <laughs> I'm literally so nervous right now. I said something, you said something, and I went, yes, ma'am. And you went, oh, my God, that was really hot. It was hot. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then I just kept, kept going, yes, ma'am. And she's like, yeah, that's really hot. Yep, still hot. <laughs> See? It was See? fun. See? She's so terrified of what I might you say. Know what? The things I will say lose all pot. It's like, no, it was this. Oh, okay. okay. Wait. She's so fucking relieved that I'm not saying the horrible, shitty things that I could be saying that yeah. she's just like, no, it's okay. Yeah, you can I'll say that. I'm it's desensitized fine. now. You're not desensitized. You just got horrified just a second ago. You I'm are not. Kind of if you are desensitized, you're going to go, yeah, we were naked. We did all this stuff. Go ahead. Tell them I don't care. That's desensitized. <laughs> we were naked. We did all this stuff. Go ahead and tell them. Yeah. <laughs> See? You are what not desensitized. You? you said you were desensitized. I was explaining the difference. You are oh, not God. desensitized. No. You are a lot braver about letting me Wait, talk. Wait, no. What's Crystalline's talk about? Oh, four decks. What? What's four? What are you doing? Oh, I really want it, but I just ordered three decks. Oh, wait, no, four decks. Okay, well, y'all, just so you know, you have time before the Unicorn's Journey Tarot hits Kickstarter, so you can plan well ahead. Yeah. We're probably doing it in probably March. I was aiming for February, but I think it's going to be like March. <laughs> Crossing fingers. Well, it's going to be March, it? and if everything goes to plan, if everything goes to plan, you'll have it out within... I'll say a few months because there's not. Well, yeah, because my goal is to have everything done. So I'm like just basically almost almost everything being done to the point where Kickstarter funds, I send everything off to the printer. All of my prep work has been done. Fulfillment centers are arranged. Everything is set up. That's why I'm doing so much work now. Yeah. So, yeah, the goal is that your wait will be as short as possible. Minimal wait. And that there won't be a lot of room, wiggle room for too many hiccups. Excuse me. Yeah. But, yeah, plan ahead. Unicorn's Journey Tarot. <laughs> Bruno will never Very be the important. same again. Yep. Why would Bruno never? <laughs> oh, all I have to say is Peggy's fish have seen some things. No, the fish tank isn't in the bedroom anymore. Yeah, so um, says Bruno will never be the same again. Why do you think our dogs are so weird? <laughs> you totally missed it. What? Never oh, mind. they're not in the bedroom? I've never been... I said, well, the fish aren't in the bedroom anymore. And then I was like, no, yeah, but well. But that's why. <laughs> yeah, but it That's why they started really... jumping out of the tank. I would open the, I would open the lid to feed them and get, wee, six foot Oh, God. So yeah. Bad. They're like <laughs> bouncing themselves off the top. No, if I do it one more time. Nope. Oh my god, no, so bad. you guys are the worst. No, you know what? Our talks are the exact opposite. If we start, if we start doing anything, if anything, doing anything, if we start kissing too seriously, if we're just they if, bail, they're out of there. If we're, yeah, like, like we, we, <laughs> they're like, with, oh, we, we man. Bruno all the time. We'll go mm, because he gets he just loses his little yeah. puppy mind. But if we're actually, actually, like, getting kissing, making out, whatever, anything, they're like, <sighs> they get and so they, annoyed, they get disgusted and leave, they just <laughs> they get do. disgusted. Yeah, they're like because because if we're busy because as soon as they realize there's no attention from them, it's like you're fucking useless. 
Your your only goal in life is to pet me, and you're not doing that. I will come back when you've had some chance, some time to think about what you've done. And we're I, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can actually answer this question now. Um, so the tarot book that I am writing with Llewellyn for Llewellyn. Oh, yeah. Uh, I finally found out they are, I don't know specifically when, but fourth quarter next year. So, so either like, I think it, I was told either October or December next year, my book yeah. will be out. So I will keep you all posted. By December. Yeah. So December would be the later date. October would be the earlier date. We won't know for sure just yet because it takes Llewellyn a while to sort of pin down their fall count for their well, fall and schedule. I, and I'm assuming that, it, yeah, they got to pin the down their fall schedule. schedule but, but yeah, fall yeah. schedule, fall, fall, early winter next year. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. I'm actually yeah. currently working on editorial revisions right now. And I'm like 85, 90% of the way done with those. But my deadline isn't until like December 22nd. So I'm actually ahead of the curve. Uh, which is very exciting. I have a few other things. I don't know the title yet. I will hopefully know. We'll have it finalized ideally by mid November, end of November, maybe. Well, well, currently we keep calling. We keep calling it. No, I'm not even going to share that. Oh, because I haven't yeah. shared it. But but because yeah, it's, yeah, it's all loose and I don't know. Well, where there's it's no, yeah, there's no point in sharing. Yeah, we just keep referring to it by by. There's ideas being bounced around right now. The final but. title is that is not going to be the final title. Yeah. So. Um, I'm gonna have to go this night. Oh, oh my green sock with scratching fingernails. It's uh, oh, hello, Tara said. I thought your deck was uh, also feel coming better. out. Yes, please feel better. I thought your deck was also coming out with Llewellyn. I didn't know it was going to be Kickstarter. Yeah, no, I'm doing mine independent. My deck's independent, so yeah. very excited. It actually gives me a lot of control over things like quality. And oh, is there going to be an audio book? I no don't. Idea. No know. idea if that's something they do. I don't know. I would definitely be down to record it if there was a way to do that, but um, I don't think one's planned just yet. Let's put it that way. But I don't know if Llewellyn does audiobooks for their books. I don't know. No idea. I don't know either. Um, but it is very well, much like a reference style book. So I don't know how well it would be an interesting, interesting conversation to keep in the back of the mind, though, just mm -hmm. as a suggestion someday. For sure. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. I will keep you all posted. I'm really proud of it. There you it's go. Once the book is done, you can just read but... it on your channel. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Well, it's, it, well, it's one of those things. Just where because you, there's a video, just because just because we're doing this in video format doesn't mean that everybody is watching it back in video format. Some people are just letting it play oh, while they've got their headphones. Yeah, no, 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 I get that. I'm I'm thinking in my head. I'm not entirely sure how well it would translate to audio, since it's more of a reference style. Like it's like a teaching book, so it's like some of it. Yeah, I'll probably make content connected to the book. That'd be but, a really cool thing to do, though. Yeah, it's awesome. Um. Y'all, we have got some filming to do. So we're going to be recording <laughs> no, not some not yet. Podcasts. I need to figure I got to go take it in a histamine or something. I've got something in the back of my throat. But we do have podcasts. My dog loves me, and sometimes I don't love him very much back. Jerk. Anyways, we've got some stuff to do, so we're going to have to wrap this one up. Will it come out on Kindle, too? I assume so. Should. I think most of it. Well, Llewellyn's just check books. and see if Llewellyn's books are on Kindle, and then you'll know. <clears throat> but I think a lot of them do. Yeah. So I would assume. But I don't know if it'll it's release at the same it. time on Kindle, but I mean, I would assume yes. Um, let's just check because I'm pretty sure Llewellyn books do go on Kindle, but let's just see. I'll go check some common ones that have come out. Um, Kitchen Table Tarot was Llewellyn. And that one was. Oh, Kitchen Table Tarot is available as an audiobook, it looks like. So that's Audible great. Audiobook. So Kindle, paperback, audio CD. And yeah, so I don't know what the process is for that. But what else? Um, I'm trying to think of a more reference based one. My, mine, mine's probably more like format-wise is similar to things like that. I'm just thinking. Um, why am I suddenly blanking on all the Llewellyn book titles ever? I have like 80 of them in the bookshelf. Somebody list a title. A complete book of tarot. I can pick something like that. Their complete collection. So that one is in paperback and Kindle. So yeah, it looks like Kindle's probably pretty. Kindle, it's super, safe Kindle, bet. Kindle is a super easy format. Once yeah. you once you get the once you once you move it all over, it just lives there. Yeah. So signs uh, are looking good. Have you? Oh yeah, Benabel's. No, Benabel wasn't Llewellyn though. Benabel's book she's was self published. Um, no, Benabel's book wasn't self published. It was oh, traditionally thought, published, but it was. Oh, not. It's not book. through I'm Llewellyn. Thinking, I keep yeah. digging her. I keep digging her deck. Have you seen Tarot from a Distant Kingdom on Kickstarter? I don't think so. Let me go look. Tarot of a Distant Kingdom. Is this watercolor? Looks like watercolor. Oh, it's one. Wow. It's pretty. Ah. It's very soft. Ooh, look at the Knight of Coins. Yeah, now he's done with me. He went and had a big drink and he's just over there sleeping. He wore himself out getting cuddled.
Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if it's up my alley, but it's cool. I, I left her a little bit and Peggy changed her shirt. No, Bruno shed it all over her. I was, Bruno's been power cuddling mm -hmm. me for almost this entire thing. So and she was covered in dog fur. At first, initially, he, yeah, he, he just covered me. I had to go change. She did. And then I've been like, then I've been like yawning, sniffing, a little yeah. bit of sniffling. And then now I got a big, and then I made the mistake of going, wiping your face, wiping my hand on my face that I was petting with. And I'm like, <coughs> she's a little bit allergic. I love my dog. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yep. 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 I've never <laughs> heard of an audio form of tarot decks, but we're talking about, this is where it gets confusing. Y'all I have a tarot deck that's about to hit Kickstarter and a tarot book I'm writing for Llewellyn publishing. So there's two yeah. different things we're talking about and it makes it confusing in the chat, but we were talking about an audiobook version of the tarot book, not the tarot deck. Um, I think I've seen the Kai Love Tarot, Miss Moonlight. I can't remember. Oh, me? Yeah, this is a really old shirt, actually. So Yeah. No, I basically, you know what I do? I'm fucking lazy. So the tank tops that I've got, it's like, oh, I really like these. We bought me like six. They have the built-in <laughs> bronze. Because they're them. simple. They're simple. They're easy. And yeah. so I was like, yeah, fuck I also it. like her in black. So that's I, I a had, lot of black. I, at one point, I had three or four of these. I've got a few in a different color of blue. Yeah, yeah. I just wear black. She likes me in black. So whenever she gets a choice, she buys me black. It's true. I do buy you a lot of black. Because she's my sugar mama. <laughs> yes, we covered this. Yeah. Wow. But apparently I'm not doing the apparently I'm not doing the sugar baby thing right because I have to be sitting around eating bonbons, but I'm not naked when I do it. So yeah, I'm that was Dustin's wrong. tip. Yeah, he said just Dustin's to be tip. naked. Yeah. Okay. I have a feeling of it's like, yeah, I have to be I'm a sugar baby now, so I have to be naked all the time. I'm gonna go make you guys some stuff. I'm pretty sure no, that would I don't be weird. want that. No, you don't be wanting if that. You're being a sugar baby, you're lounging, you're not actually yeah. working. So when you're not working, you can be so naked. I'm not a sugar baby. And when you are working, you can be clothed. That works for me. Sugar babies don't work. That's what I just said. When you're not working, you're a sugar baby. When you are working, you're whatever you are working. Oh, whatever I am. Then I'm just <laughs> no fucking used to you. Is that it? Well, I do. I don't know what I was going to say. It was going to be dirty, though. I you said you say. What? Say it. No. Say it. Nope. I thought you were Bye. desensitized. She was explaining to me how she was desensitized. I'm not actually. She's not. I'm not getting my image out of my mind for the rest of the week. Very sorry for you, but I'm sorry. happy for me. So, you know, sorry. Suck it up. Don't be fine. Yeah, no, no. I okay. Can, okay, could you imagine ironing? It's like one wrong move? No. No. Ew. I wouldn't want you no. working naked. I already said that. But I'm when not going not, to. Well, it was never on the table. And no. Ew. It was never on the table. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go, y'all. I need to work harder. <laughs> Same has to draw or what? Oh, Jesus, Barb. If Peggy is lounging naked, then you don't need a clothing budget for her. So there, that means more money for tarot decks. I mean, y'all, how do you think I have as much as much disposable income for tarot decks as I do? It's because Peggy's wardrobe needs are minimal. But not because you're standing around naked or sitting around naked. It's just because you're Look a Look at the grin, though. You kind of wish I was. I kind of do. Well, my wife's a pervert. Are you guys seeing this? Would you not want me hanging around naked all the time? That's different. Why? People expect me to be a pervert. <laughs> I can be a pervert sometimes. I say that like I'm defending my like right to be a pervert. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go, y'all. We gotta go. We're gonna go. We're gonna have. We're gonna go do some more filming once Peggy can breathe again. <laughs> we're gonna record for the podcast. Okay. If you are curious what we're gonna talk about on the podcast, then make sure you're well, subscribed to the podcast. <laughs> well, the next, well, the next uh, podcast title will be Sugar, Sugar Baby, Baby Bonbon. Bon bon. <laughs> now it is. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So for those of you that we horrified, sorry for the mental image, but the, for the rest of you. <laughs> Anyways, we're pre-filming the podcast for a couple weeks from now, I think at least. So yeah, keep your eyes on over our future it. episodes. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye.